we're pretty much out on bikes like April, May through September. Um, we just patrol downtown, the river, uh, sometimes we go up on Lake Washington. Um, and we'll stop and talk to people, make some contacts. Um, people love seeing us. They say hi on the trail all the time, which is great. Because we're moving slow and we don't have, say, a car window in between us, and it just makes us so much more approachable to people who are also out walking around on a nice day in the park like we're at right now. We can definitely get around a lot quicker than we can on foot patrol. We can access areas that we can't in our patrol cars too, like the trails um, down by the river, sidewalks. Patrol Transit Center, um, downtown area, it just gives us a lot more access. Your perspective is totally different when you ride a bike as opposed to you know, riding around in a car. Um, so you, you just pick up on a lot more details, you see a lot more things going on. We have easier time accessing uh, parks and trails like the Cedar River Trail. We try to really focus uh, on the Cedar River Trail downtown and also outbound, kind of out past the dog park as well. You get to wear shorts to work, so there's also that. You have less resources with you. You don't have um, a large vehicle that you can get behind and use as cover. Um, when we are out um, riding as a cyclist in traffic, we are more vulnerable than if we're in a large vehicle, of course. So there's some downsides. We can't carry as much gear. So if you see over here, I have a gear bag that could carry some things, um, but not nearly as much as you can carry in the trunk of a vehicle. We first heard the car spinning out in the parking lot. It's a nice day, it's busy. As you can see, right now, there's an adult and a child walking across the very same parking lot. There's a lot of people walking around. That's a very reckless type of behavior that that driver was doing. We came over here to try to intervene and stop. As you may have seen, the vehicle uh, fled, went the wrong way down Hauser on a one-way street. That could have been very, very bad. Eventually turned around, and then they fled back the other direction. At that time, the most we could do is get on the radio. Hopefully patrol officers might be in position with their cars to affect the traffic stop. But we got a license plate and we're definitely going to follow up.